My name's Stephen James Parrish, uh, known as Steve Parrish. My occupation is a motorcycle racing commentator, a Red Bull Air racing commentator, um, and um, specialist in motorcycle racing, I guess you'd say. Having raced motorcycles for a long, long period of time, I now talk about them. Uh, the cause of my hearing difficulties uh, is being exposed to too much noise at a young age, um, from a, the age of about 16 years old. Um, I was always uh, riding motorcycles, racing motorcycles, revving them up uh, with no exhaust pipes on them and nobody told me to wear e hearing plugs, which is a shame. Living with hearing loss um, is very, very awkward. Um, you can see people looking at you rather strangely because A, you haven't answered them, B, you've answered uh, the wrong question, uh, and C, it's just very, very awkward. It's actually quite dangerous at times because I leave indicators on, I, um, I don't hear things coming up behind me. So it, it can be very, very awkward, um, embarrassing at times, uh, loss of business because you don't hear your phone ringing at times and um, can be quite dangerous. My coping strategies would probably be take my girlfriend everywhere with me because she can hear what's going on and nudges me and kicks me when I don't hear what's going on. I think I have got an element of lip reading capabilities now by staring at people and working out what they're doing. I often smile and nod at the same time as they do, particularly in uh, an environment, dinner parties and in loud noises when I think it's appropriate to nod and smile or shake my head. So I've become extra sensitive as far as um, what I'm supposed to be hearing and it doesn't always work but I think probably 90% of the time I get it about right. A big turning point in uh, my life uh, when I thought I was going to achieve what I set out to do would be uh, when I left school. I wasn't a particularly good pupil, I didn't find it hugely interesting but I loved going fast and riding motorcycles so there was a point, yes, when um, I'd been riding motorcycles for about two or three years that I all of a sudden decided that uh, I was beating lots of people out on the track um, and even more importantly people were coming up to me and offering to buy me better motorcycles than I was able to afford myself. So there was that point when um, yeah, a lot of people were taking notice of what I was doing. I hadn't really uh, achieved a great deal but clearly a lot of people saw that I had a talent to, to race motorcycles quite fast and uh, that was a great turning point in my life because I thought all of a sudden I wasn't going to have to do a, a boring mundane job and uh, I think most people if you're fortunate enough to to turn a hobby into a profession, then you're very, very lucky. My phone act device is a Lyric, um, and it's made my life so much easier, particularly because you can't see it, uh, and more importantly, because you can't feel it. Uh, I can wear headsets, because um, that's part of my job, is wearing headsets, and I also fly aeroplanes, so a lot of things, and I wear crash helmets, so it makes my life so much simpler, having a device that I barely know I'm wearing. When I first had the Lyric fitted, there was, um, for a couple of days a sense of what what have I got in my ears it took a couple of days for me to become accustomed to it um, but what it did do is um, I had a device in my ear that I didn't even know was in there after about a week and all of a sudden I started hearing strange noises like indicators working like my texts going off on my phone uh, even like my girlfriend talking to me when I had no idea she was and uh, and it just made things so much simpler I even forget to turn them off at night sometimes I don't even remember that I'm wearing them and of course if you're interested in finding out more about Lyric go to www.phonac-lyric.co.uk